Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com and in this video I'm going to give you some uh, tips about interviewing for systems administration positions. And the, the, the scope that I want to, to work with is a person that has put on their resume or has mentioned in the first part of the interview when, when you're asked to, to uh, tell, tell something about yourself. Uh, the, the person has mentioned they have basic PowerShell skills. Now, this is just my opinion, and I've, I've, I've taken this kind of both from being able to be a, a part of interviews and such, as well as what I would expect if I were in a position to be interviewing a potential candidate for a um, probably a junior level systems administrator position, what, what I would expect to, to hear from a person that says they have basic PowerShell skills. So there, there are four things that, that I, I, I'm, I myself am, am likely to ask. And the first would be to ask a candidate to tell me how they, um, how they find commandlets and find some syntax reference for, for commandlets. Now, what, what, I'm, what I'm expecting to hear is for them to mention things such as git command and, and git help. As, as kind of a, an added bonus, what I would like to hear is how, how they have used that or if, if they could give me an example of when they were, when they were in a situation and you know, Dr. Google wasn't, wasn't clear at hand, um, how, how did they handle trying to figure out how to use a um, command line. And for, for git command, that's, that's, that's actually something that I use all the time. If I can remember part of a name of a command line, I can do git dash command and you know star part of the name, let's say like DNS, then star, and it'll list me all the command lines and functions and such that have DNS and the name. And then for git help, if they could describe to me the fact that you can do uh, git help and use some parameters like detailed or full or, or examples, and get help will show you the commandlet syntax and give you examples of usage of uh, that commandlet that that would, would 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 be helpful. Now, if a candidate were to tell me, you know, I, I use Google to find out about commands, that's not necessarily wrong. I, I would uh, I would be I would have issues if a, if a candidate told me that. Well, I don't know. I, I have no idea how how to find out about commandlets in PowerShell. Well, that's that's a bit of a problem if you say you have basic PowerShell skills because I would, in my opinion, a basic skill is be able to figure out how to use PowerShell and what what uh, what resources you, you would have available to you. Another question that, that I am likely to ask would be for you to describe commandlets that you, you commonly use and uh, possibly as, as an extension to that question um, Based on on whatever commandlets you, you tell me, I might ask you to to provide an example of use of that in your your business environment, such as if you were trying to um, get the listing of files in in directories. You know, you, you will tell me how you can use uh, get get child item with that. And there's no real right or wrong answer with this, other than not be able to tell me about any commandlets that, that, that you've used because I, I, I would assume a person that says they have basic PowerShell skills either at least in a lab environment or, or at work you've, you've made some some use of PowerShell. Now being a person that has said they have basic PowerShell skills I'm not expecting like a plethora of commandlets that, that, that you've used and such because I'm assuming that you're you're new to PowerShell and you're, you're getting your, your feet wet with it. The key though to a question like this in my opinion is that you can explain how you've used the commandlets. There, there's one thing to just rattle off commandlet names and there's another thing to actually know how to use them. And I, I, I can't quite tell exactly how how I know, but I've, I, I've been a part of some interviews before where the, these kind of questions have come up and you know, we've asked a, a candidate to, um, to describe how, how they've used PowerShell and they rattle off things and it's clear that they're just kind of rattling off a list of things that they know are in PowerShell but they have no idea how to actually use them and for me it would be much more useful and, and telling of a candidate if they can tell me how they actually use the tools because in the real world in systems administration you are using the tools you're not just saying what you would use you're actually you know doing doing work and such another thing I would expect um, from a basic PowerShell user is to be able to explain to me um, 
what makes objects objects and how that's different than the text. Now that that can seem like a, a pretty in-depth in question and and it it, it can be. I mean you, you can really deep dive into what .NET objects and such are. I wouldn't expect that out of a, a, a person of, of basic um, PowerShell skill. I, I like to think I have a little bit uh, beyond basic PowerShell skill and I can't really deep dive very much into objects. I know about properties and methods and such you have on objects but if a candidate that says they have basic PowerShell skills can explain to me that if the output is text it is literally just what you're seeing on the screen. If an output's an object you'll see something but that something is going to have properties to it. Um, if, if you're in a position now where you're, you're thinking about taking on an interview and saying you have basic PowerShell skills and you're thinking man Eddie's going to ask me about objects and I don't have, have a clue about that uh, a great example to, to learn about objects from is the get child item command line. And what you can do is um, pipe get child item to get member. So let's say you get child item C colon slash foo dot text. So you have a little file there. You pipe that to get member. And what you're going to see are all sorts of properties like um, date last accessed and length and full, uh, full name, all that. What makes objects objects are that they have properties to it. It's not just plain text. And those properties allow you to further manipulate the output, or you can use that as a part of, of uh, uh, piping information down the, the, the pipeline to, to other commandlets and such. But for that, for the basic PowerShell skill, I would, I would want you to, to first know that there's a difference between text and objects. And if you mention something about properties within objects, I would, I would like that. Now, of course, other folks might, might, might have other opinions. Some folks might not ask you about objects. But in my opinion, that's, that's a part of basic PowerShell skill is understanding that commandlets are returning objects rather than, than just um, straight text. I will probably ask you about the the pipeline as well. Now I can I can entirely see a an absolute beginner to PowerShell not knowing how to to use the the pipeline. And and in my opinion, depending on what system administration position you're applying for, if you're looking for like a senior sysadmin position in a Windows environment and you don't know what the pipeline is, that's a problem. If you're looking for a junior position and you're like, hey, I, I have some basic PowerShell skills. Of, start getting my feet wet with it, you know, I, I might not expect to know everything there is to know about the pipeline. But I, I would expect a person with basic PowerShell skills to know that you can send output from one commandlet to a to another commandlet in that pipeline, such as, I'll go back to the get child item example, if you wanted to um, find all files that end in star.txt in their file name, and you wanted to delete those, a way you can use the get the pipeline is you know, get command, uh, not get command, excuse me, get child item to return those items, pipe that to remove items. That's an example of using the pipeline. And I would think a person with basic PowerShell skills should understand at, at least at that, that basic level, you know, how the pipeline works. Or like using um, get service and piping that to start service. That, that, that kind of thing. I wouldn't necessarily expect person in the pipeline, uh, a person that's new to PowerShell to be able to talk to, talk to me about where object and, and such. If you can, great bonus points. I'd say, hey, that perhaps this person is being a little bit modest about their, their PowerShell skills, but it, it, at least know, know what it is. The one, 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 one of the other things that I would ask, and I'm, I'm only going to go over just, just a few things here. There, there's a plethora of things to ask, but I think th th this is something that, that might throw uh, some um, young administrators especially for a loop and that's asking the question of should you run a script or uh, or a, a, a one-liner as we call it you know commands going to the pipeline on and on and on should you run something like that that you find just f from somewhere on on the internet should you run that in production and the correct answer in my opinion in my opinion to that is it depends because if if I had a, a candidate tell me, sure, I'd, I would just, you know, hey, I copied from the internet, run it, it should be fine. Well, I would consider that person either pretty short-sighted about um, about how you should treat production, or maybe this person hasn't ever dealt in a production-to-production environment, 
and they just don't know that that's a very dangerous thing to do is just run something and not know anything about it. On the other hand, if I have a person that would say I, I would never run anything straight from the internet, I might um, ask why as a follow-up question to that because I, I'm, I would be curious to see if this person simply doesn't trust any other resources or if they're a person that uh, I've, I've, I've stumbled upon someone that knows everything and they, they write all, all, all of, of, of their stuff themselves. Um, if, if I have a person that's not willing to consult other resources, I personally would have some concerns about that because it's not possible for a system administrator to know everything there is to know. For me, the right answer to, to this question is it depends as far as there isn't a problem using scripts and such from the internet, but before you run them, you need to know what they're doing. And uh, a, a good way to find that out, either go through the script and understand everything it's trying to do, or try it out in a test environment. And if it's giving you the results that, that need to happen and then there, there aren't side effects and such, go ahead and put it in into production. So really it's kind of the happy medium. You wouldn't just run out, hey, I've found script from you know bobscriptbarn.com. Let's, let's throw it on our production exchange server and go. But at the same time, before you use that, that great script from bobscriptbarn.com, and of course, if bobscriptbarn.com exists, my apologies, Bob, you probably have some great stuff. I just, I've never seen it before. But what you want to do is express the fact that you're not opposed to using resources that are outside of, of your own knowledge set, but you want to know something about them prior to, to, to running it. So the one, one other tip that I would give is, I, I, I guess I'd consider this a bonus tip, is regardless of your skill in PowerShell, um, try to answer questions in a, a business context, such as it, it's more important for, for, for me to know if, if you have basic skills in PowerShell, how you use them in, in your job, such as that, that question of, you know, what, what commandlets ha have you used? You know, great, you, you've used get child item. How have you used that? What what has been the what have been scenarios that that um, that you've been a part of that that needed to have that commandlet run and such? So I hope that, that this is uh, helpful for you if you are um, looking to do some interviews for some systems administration positions and you you claim that that you have basic PowerShell skills. This is of course just just just, just um, my opinion about things, but hopefully th th this will give you an idea of some potential things that, that you would be asked in an interview and get an idea of, of kind of what, what, what feedback the, the interviewer is, is looking for with, with these types of questions. As always, thank you for taking the time to watch. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and also if you know any IT professionals and such that, that, would, be, that would find this video useful, feel, feel free to share it with them and I'll see you the next time.